Hello everyone, we're the Scotters, a family of five. We've been travelling in our self-converted bus for the last year and we've been to 10 different countries. We've made countless memories, seen amazing sights and met some wonderful people. It's now time for us to stop and grow some roots. After a lot of searching, we have found what we were looking for, nestled amongst the rolling hills of northern Portugal. We are the very proud owners of five acres of land with forest and a river that winds through it. Follow us on our journey as we continue to grow, learn and explore and make this abandoned piece of land our off-grid homestead. Welcome to our YouTube channel. I thought we'd introduce ourselves. I'm Kayla. I'm Trixie. I'm Badger. I'm Betsy. And I'm Wilfred. And we're the Scotters. So I thought well, I'd let you know what kind of our rough plan is and what we've been up to and stuff like that. So we have just bought some land in northern Portugal, 45 minutes from Porto. Is it? 45 yep. minutes? Um, we've got beautiful terraces, a river, um, five springs, a lovely old building here. Um, and what's our first plan? To build somewhere to live. <laughs> to build somewhere to, stay to live. dry. Yeah, so we're currently living in our bus that we've travelled in um, for the last year with our three children, who you just saw. And we've got a caravan, which you'll see, that we've repainted. Um, we need to harbour spring water, we need to Build a roundhouse. Build a roundhouse. Sort of electricity. Do sort of electricity. Water turbine. Hello, I'm Trixie. <laughs> <laughs> You're Trixie. Um, we are going to be completely off grid here. We have got our own water from the springs. We have got solar in the summer. And we're also hopefully going to set up a water turbine, which will be our electricity in the winter from our river. Anything else about it? So, so far. far. I'm sure there's um, lots more plans. Yeah. But first, roundhouse is the main plan at the moment. Better get to it. This is the view from our house. Right, now the real work starts. Organising. <laughs> Caravan, came off the car. <laughs> we lost the door on the way. Now just got 
Stop pipe work now. has arrived today. <laughs> Which is exciting. <laughs> Breaking into the caravan. Got the keys. We've had an amazing couple of days of dry weather and blue skies and we've got loads done. The caravan is almost finished, um, the tarpauling is up for some dry space and the polytunnel is up where we'll store the wood for the roundhouse. So we're feeling pretty good at the moment. Peas! Oh, I love peas. What's your favourite vegetable? Blueberry! Cole, oh, please, oh please! Well, we've had a bit of a shocker. The rain arrived in full force along with some mega wind and the tarpauling didn't survive. But it's okay, we can use it for something else. So our next battle was the dreaded awning. Another day in paradise. We've had some serious rain and wind, as you can tell. So the caravan awning has collapsed. Yay. So we are back to the drawing board. Oh no, is it just the water? Can you see the amount of water that... Do you see the sheer volume of water? To just buckle the metal? <gasps> oh my god! We have finally wrestled the awning back up, but the next day it was the same story, just so much rain. It's crazy at the moment. Definitely not the start we had hoped for. Feels like we're completely battling the elements at the moment. We are desperate to extend our dry space for the children. Well, and our sanity. Living in a small space with three children definitely has its challenges. And then throw in crazy mental rain. Yeah, come on, we can do it. day has come the green bus is making her way down to the land i can't lie i'm a little bit nervous about her going down the track but badger has full faith in her so we'll see as you can see we have the van awning up the rain is ridiculous um we have the caravan here there. This will be our setup now for, well, until the roundhouse is finished, I guess. Um, not glamorous, but you got to start somewhere. Well, saying that, actually, this has been our home for the last year, so it's even better now we have the caravan. Rainy day, movie time for the children. I'll definitely give you a full bus tour soon, though. Yes. The rain has been full on, but the reason we chose Northern Portugal um, was we wanted water. That was one of our main, main priorities. Um, and we've got it, a lot of it, which is amazing. And I can definitely put up with a bit of rain and collapsed 
warnings for this incredible river. I know I keep talking about the springs, but I never dreamed of having our own spring, no matter a few of them. We even found a new one this week. Next week is Mission Water, where Badger is going to attempt to dam our larger spring and pipe it into tanks, into tubes, into taps. So don't forget to tune in. New caravan? Well. <laughs> it was so stinky, but now it's just amazing. Oh. Now we've painted it and everything. Yeah. We have, thanks to your hard work. I, I, I like the caravan like, more like this. Yeah? Yeah. New light, yeah. Yeah. Turn it on, Wilfred. Ooh, mood lighting. end of the video thank you so much for watching um, we are super excited to document this journey for our little people here and hopefully they can look back at their mental parents <laughs> in years to come and think yeah you have gone off good home but um, yeah we will be back next week where we'll be harvesting the spring water and hopefully getting water onto our land so, um, yeah subscribe if you want to watch a little bit more of us. Thank you.